lightning series from the pulpit with Pastor Anthony Melchizedek. Title 10 Things to Do in 2021. Stay tuned. I bring you special greetings once again from the Master himself, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I'm so excited one more time. We are starting all over again the year 2021, and I'm sharing with you by God's grace 10 things you are supposed to do this year that will lift you to the next level, that will make God's blessings come upon you, and that will make people seek you for what you have. We have already spoken about three of them. If you have not listened to any of them, I'm begging you. In the name of Jesus, just go to my YouTube page and then look at it. Or find me on Facebook. You'll be able to have the link there and watch it. Ten things you and I, God expects us to do. 2021, in order for us to receive his favor, for us to be blessed, and also to recover what we lost in the year 2020. Number four, resist the pressure to be proud, to be competitive and vain glory. 2021 resist the pressure to be competitive, to be proud and to seek after vain glory. You know, it is easy to be proud. It is easy for you to seek after vain glory. Society in which we are living can massage you into pride and into vain glory. But the Bible tells us that God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Therefore, do not in the year 2020 allow society to pressure you to become proud, to become competitive, and to seek after vain glory. Don't give society that chance. Our world has become competitive, but tell yourself you are not competing with anybody. Just go at your pace. Don't fall for competition that is going on in the world. If you do, you lose the favor of the Lord. And again, it's going to make you corrupt and you will not be able to live within your means. You recall, I am sure, that it's as a result of pride that Lucifer lost his status in heaven. It was as a result of pride that Lucifer, as well as one third of the angels in heaven, lost the kingdom of God. And they are and God is preparing them for hellfire. You don't want to be there. Therefore, in the year 2021, do whatever you can to remain humble. Don't compete with anybody. Don't seek after vain glory. Make sure society, you don't permit society to pressure you to that. Proverbs number 29, verse number 33. Proverbs chapter 29, verse number 23, 16 and 18, all talks about pride and humility. I have seen people rise to the helm of affairs. People who have gotten up there. But as a result of pride and arrogance and vainglory and competition, they were crushed down. An angel fell, I just said it, because of pride. An angel fell, I just said it, because of competition. An angel fell because he wanted to be God. In the year 2021, seek after humility. There is a relationship between humility and honor. God gives honor, grace to those who are humble. Embrace through humility 2021. If you do that, your lifetime, your value system will change. Whatever you can do in the year 2021 to resist the society, individuals, organization from pushing you to be competitive, pushing you to be proud and arrogant, pushing you to seek after vain glory, resist it. If you're able to do that, the blessings of God for 2021 upon your life will be released. But if you allow society and institution to push you to be proud, to be arrogant, to seek after vain glory, you will not receive the blessings of God because God gives grace, honor, opportunities to people who are humble. It is my prayer that we all will resist the pressure by society, by individuals, by organizations, by our neighborhood, by whatever, to be proud, to be arrogant, to be competitive, and to seek after vain glory. All these things, it will not take you anywhere. Until I come your way again with message number five, 10 things God expects us to do 
in the year 2020. May the peace of God once again, the pass of understanding keep you. I am optimistic that 2021 is going to be a good year. If we are able by the grace of God to implement these 10 things God is sharing with us, we will have breakthrough, we will have success, we will be above and not beneath. We will expand to the east and to the west and God will favor us this year. Until I come your way again, keep on praying for me. I'm also praying for you. God, richly bless you. See you soon with message number five.